In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Volvo FH16 trucks from ETS2 in American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Volvo trucks, the FH16 trucks from Euro, Tr Euro Truck Simulator 2, ETS2 uh, in American Truck Simulator. Now we have had a look at these before in the past uh, and I thought since we'd had a look at uh, some of the other trucks, let's check out the Volvos this week. So I am at the Vol Volvo truck dealer in Las Vegas. Uh, so if you haven't discovered it, you will need to. Um, after you've actually put this mod in, of course. Now, um, let's go to the customized configuration and check it out. So first of all, it's exactly this. I'm going to say this straight up. It's exactly the same as uh, Euro as ETS2. Only it's in American trucks. That's it. I know a lot of Americans thinks it's just think it's just totally wrong. Uh, but you know what? Some people want to play with the uh, European trucks in, AT, uh, in ATS so why not let them have the option there anyway so with the cabins we're gonna you've got the sleeper Globetrotter or the Globetrotter XL and we're going to put on the XL over to the chassis you've got all your chassis from 4x2, 6x2, 624, 62 tag lift 624 mid lift, 64 and 8x4 so you can do those heavy hauls which is really cool uh, I'm going for, actually, you know what, I'm going to go with the uh, 4x2 today. Uh, now, engines, you can go for, you've got your Euro 5 engines that go from 420 all the way up to 750. So I'm going to chuck in 750, why not? Uh, transmissions, you have got 12 speed, your iShift 12 speed or Allison 4500. And is there anything else? We've got 4500R. So they all got their respected retarder as well. So that way you can, you know, there we go. I'm just going to put on 12 speed with retarder. It's my favorite for the um, Volvo. Now the interior, it is um, the standard interior. And you've also got the left and right hand side drive. So that's something that doesn't, you don't get that really. Uh, in a lot of vehicles so um, you know you've got your left hand right hand side and it's both with exclusive and standard there so uh, I'm just gonna leave it on exclusive and I'm gonna leave it on the uh, left hand drive which is wh what you would drive in America so uh, then we have the paint jobs uh, plenty of paint jobs to choose from blues black silvers um, and if you're not happy with any of those standard colors you can go and add in your own custom color as you can see here and there's also a custom metallic color as well uh, there's first color there there's the second and we also have the third so it's good to see that all three do work and another thing that's really good in here is you got all the company uh, uh, the companies you can select as well that are out of Euro trucks are also you can add into American trucks the default uh, skins that were given out free and there's also the golden edge skins there as well for your heavy hauls a couple of other skins down below that you can see as well caramel and also fusion uh, which a lot of people use for the flames which is pretty cool uh, today I'm going to use golden edge I like the golden edge on this truck now accessories you've got a all your standard ones to choose from there's your lower grill guards that you can choose. Uh, as you can see, we'll zoom in there a little bit. There we go. It looks a bit better. Um, I'm going to stick that one on there. Then we have your door steps. Uh, if you have a look down the bottom, you can see that the door steps are a bit different there. They change. And then we have the grill, uh, sorry, the bull bar. So you've got a few different bull bars there. No Aussie bull bars, unfortunately. Um, but. You know that's a shame never mind uh, you can always probably add that in I guess with a mod but uh, I'm gonna take that off now uh, you've got your driver's plate and if you got Sissel's mega pack installed then you can add on a whole heap of other Sissel stuff uh, co-driver's plate uh, we have the main mirrors so you can go your plastic 
paint or chrome uh, I'm actually gonna put chrome on for today the uh, the back backboard light now sizzles add added for um, well added some extra stuff in there now I believe that's more recently um, I'm going to put on I'm going to put on uh, what is it the text in let's put let's put uh, green or let's put orange text in orange on the back there and that should light up when at night time you'll be able to see that windshield dots um, you can add your stuff in there we'll have a look at that later then there's your main mirror the sorry the just the front mirror uh, you can add in some flags so there's a GTM then there's European Union uh, custom flag which is customizable which is pretty cool uh, not going to worry about that at the moment and also there it is on the other side as well um, actually you know what I'm going to leave Sissel's mega mega pack on the side there advertise Sissel there we go and yep there it is there let's leave that on there that looks great um, then we have the interior lights which is part of Sissel's mega pack you can add change your sun visor to pretty much whatever you want here all the standard stuff that you would get in Euro trucks has been converted over. Uh, yeah, there's that mirror. Ah, oh, we'll leave, take that. I'll leave that one there. That's good. And then you've got your light box. You can change different light box if you want to have 750XL. You can have that or whatever. Uh, light bar, custom light. Well, just your, st your um, standard light bars from the game from uh, Euro trucks. I'm going to add on. Let's see that one there and we'll put on some horns let's put raw raw and then we'll go and put on a couple of lights let's put the lumen chrome lights on there we go and um, then up the top here you can go and put on your beacons so if you want to have your beacons on there a um, couple of different kinds there which is pretty cool now all that's pretty stock standard guys to what you would normally get in in Euro trucks so uh, now down here as we're moving along you've got your standard tires you do have your Dimax which is your American truck ones and you've also got your Euro truck tires as well so um, see the rim actually it doesn't change though so make sure you change that rim over if you use American rims uh, I'm just going to leave the Euro ones on and skip down to where are they? Yeah, there's Steel, there's American Dream. Uh, look, let's use Standard Gloss and we'll get the, uh, leave the, well, you got your American nuts there as well, see? That's pretty cool, but it doesn't work with the Euro rims. Uh, just go Standard Nuts on there and leave that stock standard. Put the side skirt on, so you can go a couple of different kinds there. And then on the back here, you've only got the standard rims there, standard tires. Um, standard gloss is what we what we wanted. That looks white, doesn't it? Uh, doesn't really look that good. Uh, that's the American truck ones. Ah, dark silver. So shadow that looks like a, that looks like a American trucks ones. Where's the standard seagull chrome? I'm after standard chrome. Where's that standard chrome? There we go. Standard chrome. Oh, the chrome doesn't look too good at all. It looks a bit funny. Maybe when we get outside, it'll look all right. I'll change those nuts to chrome, and I'll go back to here and change that to standard chrome where's standard chrome seagull standard chrome there we go and oh, it automatically changed our tires as well so uh, or did it yes it did it no it didn't so we'll go Dimax there we go change those to their Dimax as well so that's all good right now the nuts I'll just fix, quickly fix those up we want to have chrome nuts as well there we go right now spinning it around that is pretty much all that you can do uh, oh, down the bottom you can have an exhaust there we go I didn't see that before 
Or you can have uh, the lights. Let's put the lights. Can you do that on this side? Oh, bummer. You can't do it on this side. Only one side you can do that. Well, that's that's a bummer. That would have looked really good with those lights on there. Uh, the door handles. Uh, we'll paint those. And there's the the side mirror. The, uh, the light, the back light there. There's the flag. And that is pretty much it for the outside. Let's go on the inside here quickly. Now, there is the flag. Then we have... Uh, the GPS that you can add in there, main mirrors which we've already customized, driver's plate, steering wheel, let's put the black one on and down here you can put in uh, whatever you want down the side there if you've got Sissel's Mega Pack it works really well. Let's put on some books, Amiga, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, then we have, let's can we put a passenger in? I like passengers in my truck. Gives me someone to annoy. Um, yes, we'll put in... There we go. She's popped in. Uh, dashboard dots. We can put in dashboard dots if you want. And put a can of Coke on there. Or whatever else you want to put on there. Uh, console. You can put on... Uh, she wants Pepsi. So, there we go. He wants Coke. She wants Pepsi. Co-driver's plate. Um, then we have the windshield dots. Uh, there you go. That's a classic black. And then we have the sun visor, which we already chose. Uh, there's the uh, ambient light. And there's also some hanging things as well that you can have in there. There's heaps of stuff that you can put on there. A soccer ball, pokeball, uh, whatever else. Some dice. I'm going to grab those black dice there and put them on. Um, that is pretty much it over there there's the the flag and there's the side mirror but that's it looking around oh and on the back there there's the uh interior light thing so very nice very cool i like it let's confirm that and let's see how it drives see if it drives about the same or if it's better or sometimes when you convert things over they just don't drive the same and they're not quite the same so damn that looks good doesn't it I don't know about those rims though. Look at that. They're a bit funny. Let's see uh, how they go when we're driving. They just look a bit weird. I don't know what it is. But the truck itself looks pretty damn good. Very nice. Yep. Moving around. There we go. Yes. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Actually, it reminds me of Knight Rider for some reason. I don't know why. A Smokey and a Bandit kind of truck, doesn't it? Looks pretty cool, though. All right, let's start her up and see how it goes. There we go. Starts up nicely. And then we have lights. Awesome. Uh, high beams. There's high beams. We have flashes. There's flashes. Horn. Air horn. Uh, and wipers. There's the wipers on the front. Very good. Spin it round. Brake lights. Reverse lights. That's actually really good. It's working quite well. Let's jump on the inside. Yep, wipers are working, which is good. And I'll just uh, turn those wipers off. And then we have the flashes, which are working, which is good. Cross your fingers for push display. This is a mod killer, this one. Oh, display's working. Great. That's good. Very good. Now, uh, let's go take it for a drive, shall we? And uh, see how it uh, how it handles. I bumped the microphone there. Sorry about that. Uh, engines. Don't need to have a look at any more engines because there's only the standard uh, Volvo engines that you can use. But look, it seems to be driving around quite well. No problem there. Easy to turn. Easy to maneuver. Look at that. And there's the banana brake. I'm going to just cut down the side here because this traffic is going to take forever. And there we go. Scooting along nicely. But look, it seems to handle fine. I mean, there's no 
real issues. We're actually getting some quite some decent speed here. There's the uh, banana break. And look, it's it's handling exactly the same as what it does in Euro trucks. It's really good. And there we go, up to fifth gear. No problem. There's high. What did we do? 12 plus, was it? No, that's it. It's five high. There we go. Five high is it. So there we go. Look, that is actually really good, guys. But is it worthy of the weekly drive? Well, look, that's not up to me. That's up to you. So if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts, guys. And uh, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.